Hello guys, welcome back to another review video, and today we will be reviewing the KNF Concept KF TM T324 tripod. Okay guys, so yeah, we have the KNF Concept KF TM. 2324 tripod with us today and let's go ahead and start off with the top of the tripod and kind of work ourselves down. First of all we have the ball head kind of part of the tripod. We have a quick release plate which is very nice when you just want to hook it onto your camera and then you can just attach it here and then it screws in. If you look on the top there is a fluid head part of the tripod. It tells you if the tripod's level or not. The only thing about that that's kind of annoying is that whenever the camera is on the tripod, you actually, it just completely covers that part up. And you can level it out before you put the camera on. This is a ball head, so that means it can get a 360 degree angle. And then there's another knob where you can turn the whole entire ball head part of the tripod. And uh, this is just like the top of a tripod, like this isn't, this isn't part of the tripod. You can take this off. So that is one of many, many advantages. So if we just unscrew this right now, we can completely like set this thing aside. If you want to put this, like, let's say, on a Gorillapod or any other type of tripod. With this Gorillapod, I can just easily screw it into the base right there, no problem. So a trick that I am going to pursue is, since this is this quick release plate is versatile with any of the other ball heads and quick release plate systems like this, what you can do is, let's say, if you vlog or if you have this Gorillapod to do time lapses, like in places that you couldn't do time lapses with, or anything like that, where you have more than one tripod or mounting system, is you can actually buy another one of these ball heads and have one on your tripod, have one on your Gorillapod or whatever mount you have, and then you can just connect the camera to this uh, quick release plate, and then when you want to move your camera to the other thing, you literally just take it off, the quick release plate with the camera on and you just put it in the other one. You would never have to disconnect this quick release plate from your camera. You would also have an extra quick release plate just in case you lost it. So that's also something else that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, so that's definitely something to look into. But it comes with this strap that's automatically on the tripod and uh, maybe for picking it up and like, carrying it around easier. But what I did notice is that you can, if you want to take that off, take the strap off, you can actually unscrew this part of the tripod and you can take it off. You can just completely just take this thing off and then you just slide this back on, screw the nut back in, and then you're good to go. You couldn't connect your camera to it. it, it this thing's too big. And so while fumbling around, I noticed that, it, again, if you take this off, this whole part right here with this nut and this other piece, you take this off and you can actually unscrew this and if you flip it around, you can screw it back in. You can actually connect a camera to just the top of this without having to have this. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can kind of start talking about the actual uh, parts of the tripod itself. This thing gets pretty tall. This tripod is normally uh, it's five foot two, and this is probably as high as you're gonna go with this price range. On the bottom of this, pole, there is a hook. Now if I unscrew this, there's a hook down here, and this hook can work both uh, as to hang your camera bag, your camera gear, uh, if you didn't want to get on the ground, if you're like shooting outside and you get one, didn't want to get it dirty, or you can uh, have it just, you can put weights on it, and it, it'll keep this tripod from like, I don't know if you had it like outside and you're worrying that like it would fly away. I don't know how that would happen personally, but I could see somebody actually like bumping it. This thing is like super light. I don't know the specifics exactly, um, but all of these specifics will be in the uh, on the Amazon page, which is uh, to this tripod, which is going to be in the description below. So you can go find out the exact weight. Um, 50, or 62 inches is the height, and you can find out exactly what it's made out of. I think it's made out of aluminum or carbon fiber or something along the lines of that. Another thing with this. Uh, pole beam right here that can go up and down. If you unscrew the base of it, you can uh, flip this straight upside down. So I can put this underneath the tripod, screw this back on top, 
And when you get this, it actually will be, it will look like this, so you'll already know about this once you get it. This thing basically gives you like an overview shot. Now that we've talked about that, let's actually get into the tripod legs themselves. So whenever you're shooting, sometimes it can be like this, and I can just set up a tripod at the opposite end of the room. I don't have to touch the tripod, I just put my camera on it, press record, and I don't have to mess with it. But sometimes you get into a shoot and you're uh, like at a wedding or something like that or an event and you set the tripod down, you take a few pictures or you video some stuff, but then you have to easily like, sometimes you have to easily like pack up and go to the next location or whatever it may be or like around the place and you have to like completely pack this thing up to get around people to get it as small as it can possibly be. And so this, with these legs, these things like pack up so easily. So like this is just one of the legs obviously, but like... That took like, like hardly any time just to pack up that one tripod leg. In order to set up, we also need the tripod legs basically to just shoot out for us. And so if we have what we have here, these like automatically come out if you open the, the, uh, the lever all the way, they automatically come out. Like since they're so close together, you can just close them all at once or you can even open them up all at once. This tripod also has these lock, locking mechanisms and so like if you have it like this, if you have to have it like at a weird angle, here let's do there. Like also, a, a side note, this tripod will fit in any position and take up hardly any space. It has these locking mechanisms that once it's locked down, you can't pull back up unless you wanted to break it, but why would you want to do that to your own tripod? If you gently, if you push it down a little bit more, you can push down on this grip part and move it all past the locks. There are, there's three settings for the locking. So if you needed to have it like at this first one, for this angle, second one, or third, which is what we originally had it at for a third. Obviously the third will get you most height, um, then you can. But you can also completely just fold this straight up. Like this thing is starting to look like a spider now. Like this thing's messing with me. There you go. Now you have a tripod, um, and then you would obviously flip this uh, around so you have it facing you or whatever you'd want to do with it. Um, so yeah, on the bottom of the tripod, there are uh, on each leg of the tripod there are these grips, and these grips uh, they're rubberized grips, so they're not like spikes, so they're not going to scratch any surface. Um, there's a spike, so basically it's it's poking out in order to ensure that, let's see, if you are on like rocky terrain or like you need the tripod to be, uh, be able to like kind of grip to whatever surface it's on. Now, obviously it's not gonna stick to the wall or anything, um, but that would be impressive. It's just basically gonna ensure that this thing can be as stable as this thing can possibly be. It does come with a bag, this bag, where you can just, in its state like this, straight out of the bag or straight out of the box, um, it does come it does come in this bag. That's it. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like below. Comment for any questions that you may have. But yeah, definitely uh, consider subscribing. That would be great. And the link to the Amazon page for this, for you to go buy, will be in the description below. And um, yeah, that gives you more details, a whole lot more details than what this thing, or than what this video has given you obviously. Um, you can go check out other people's comments and reviews and see what they uh, had to say about it um, on the Amazon page, like I said in the description below. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and like I said, please consider subscribing. That would mean a lot. And yeah, um, see you guys in the next video and have a great day.